In the practice of Nichiren Buddhism, two fundamental elements stand at the forefront of daily practice, Gangyo and Daimoku. These rituals, when performed with sincerity and understanding, serve as powerful tools for spiritual growth and personal transformation. Polishing one's practice of Gangyo and Daimoku is a lifelong journey, one that deepens with time and dedication. Gangyo, which literally means assiduous practice, involves the recitation of certain portions of the Lotus Sutra, primarily the Haban, 2nd, and Juryo, 16th, chapters. This is followed by silent prayers and the chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, known as Dai Moku. While the basic structure of these practices is straightforward, their true power lies in the spirit and understanding with which they are performed. Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Buddhist reformer who established this practice, emphasized the importance of faith and understanding in one's practice. He wrote, Faith is the basis of the Buddha way and the mother of all blessings. This statement underscores the idea that merely going through the motions of Gangyo and Daimoku is not enough. One must engage in these practices with deep faith and a genuine desire for spiritual growth. Polishing one's Gangyo begins with developing a clear understanding of its purpose. The recitation of the Lotus Sutra is not merely a rote exercise, but a profound engagement with the Buddha's highest teachings. Daisaku Ikeda, a modern Nichiren Buddhist leader, explains, Gangyo is a ceremony in which we align our lives with the rhythm of the universe. This perspective invites practitioners to approach Gangyo not as a duty, but as an opportunity to harmonize with the fundamental law of life. One key aspect of polishing Gangyo is improving one's pronunciation of the sutra passages. While perfect pronunciation is not the goal, Striving for clarity and accuracy can deepen one's connection to the practice. Nichiren wrote, When one chants the mystic law, one must summon up deep faith that Myoho Renge Kyo is one's very life itself. This suggests that even the physical act of chanting can be a profound expression of one's faith and determination. Developing a consistent rhythm in one's recitation is another important aspect of polishing Gangyo. This doesn't mean rushing through the words but finding a pace that allows for both clarity and flow. Some practitioners find it helpful to focus on the meaning of certain key phrases as they recite, using these as anchors for their concentration. For instance, the phrase, Nio zi han maku ko du, at the beginning of the Haban chapter means, this is the true entity of all phenomena. Reflecting on this profound concept while reciting can add depth to one's practice. The silent prayers that follow the sutra recitation are another area where one can polish their gongyo. These prayers are not petitions to an external force, but rather expressions of gratitude and determination. Nichiren taught that the purpose of Buddhist practice is to reveal one's inherent Buddha nature, not to seek favors from an external Buddha. With this understanding, one can approach the silent prayers as a time for deep reflection and renewal of one's commitment to practice and to contributing to the well-being of others. Moving on to Daimoku, the chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we find another rich area for polishing one's practice. Daimoku, which literally means, title of the Lotus Sutra, is considered the essence of Nichiren Buddhist practice. Nichiren wrote, when you chant Myoho Renge Kyo, you must summon up deep faith that Myoho Renge Kyo is your life itself. This statement invites practitioners to see Dai Moku not as something separate from themselves, but as an expression of their own inherent Buddha nature. Polishing one's Dai Moku involves more than just increasing the volume or speed of one's chanting. It's about deepening one's understanding of the meaning behind the words and infusing one's chanting with genuine faith and determination. Each word in Nam Myoho Renge Kyo has profound significance. Nam means devotion, Myoho refers to the mystic law, Renge symbolizes the simultaneous nature of cause and effect, and Kyo represents the Buddha's teachings. As one polishes their Dai Moku, they might focus on different aspects of its meaning. For instance, contemplating the concept of Myoho or the mystic law can deepen one's appreciation for the interconnectedness of all phenomena. Reflecting on Renge, 
the lotus flower that blooms and seeds simultaneously, can strengthen one's understanding of the immediate effect of one's actions and thoughts. The rhythm and sound of Dai Moku also play a crucial role in its effectiveness. Nichiren wrote, The voice does the Buddha's work. This suggests that the act of chanting itself, the vibration of one's voice, has a profound effect on one's life and environment. As practitioners polish their Dai Moku, they often find that their voice becomes stronger, clearer, and more resonant reflecting their growing faith and determination. One common challenge in polishing Gongyo and Dai Moku is maintaining focus and avoiding distractions. The mind tends to wander, especially during longer sessions of practice. Nichiren addressed this, saying, Even though you chant and believe in Myoho Renge Kyo, if you think the law is outside yourself, you are embracing not the mystic law but an inferior teaching. This reminds practitioners to continually bring their attention back to the present moment, recognizing that the practice is not separate from their own lives. Developing a consistent practice schedule is another crucial aspect of polishing Gangyo and Dai Moku. Nichiren emphasized the importance of continuing one's practice regardless of circumstances, writing, Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This perseverance in practice, through good times and bad, is itself a form of polishing. As one deepens their practice, they may find that the quality of their gangyo and dai moku naturally improves. This improvement is not just in the technical aspects of recitation or chanting, but in the depth of one's engagement with the practice. Daisaku Ikeda explains, true prayer is a way of life, not a temporary mental exercise. This perspective encourages practitioners to see Gangyo and Dai Moku not as isolated rituals, but as integral parts of their daily lives. The concept of Ichin and Sanzen, or 3000 realms in a single moment of life, is particularly relevant to polishing one's practice. This principle suggests that each moment contains infinite possibilities for change and growth. Applied to Gangyo and Dai Moku, it means that each session of practice, even each moment within that practice, holds the potential for profound transformation. With this understanding, practitioners can approach each recitation of the sutra and each Dai Moku with renewed freshness and determination. Another important aspect of polishing one's practice is developing a deeper understanding of the Lotus Sutra and Nichiren's teachings. While the act of recitation and chanting is powerful in itself, combining it with study can greatly enhance one's practice. Nichiren wrote, exert yourself in the two ways of practice and study. Without practice and study, there can be no Buddhism. This encourages practitioners to continually deepen their understanding of the philosophical and spiritual foundations of their practice. As one polishes their Gangyo and Dai Moku, they may find that the effects of their practice begin to manifest more clearly in their daily lives. This could be in the form of increased resilience in the face of challenges, greater compassion for others, or a deeper sense of purpose and connection to life. Nichiren described this as changing poison into medicine, the ability to transform even the most difficult circumstances into opportunities for growth and happiness. It's important to note that polishing one's practice is not about achieving perfection. Rather, it's about continuous improvement and deepening one's engagement with the practice. Daisaku Ikeda writes, Buddhism is a philosophy of continual self-improvement. There is no end point, no final destination. The important thing is that we keep moving forward. This perspective encourages practitioners to approach their practice with patience and persistence, recognizing that growth occurs gradually over time. The environment in which one practices Gangyo and Dai Moku can also play a role in polishing one's practice. Many practitioners create a dedicated space for their Buddhist practice, often centered around the Gohanzen, a scroll that serves as a focal point for practice. Keeping this space clean and orderly can be seen as an extension of one's practice, reflecting the clarity and determination one brings to Gangyo and Dai Moku. Polishing one's Gangyo and Dai Moku is about cultivating a deeper connection to one's inherent Buddha nature and to the fundamental rhythm of the universe.
It's a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth that unfolds over a lifetime. As Nichiren wrote, the journey from Kamakura to Kyoto takes 12 days. If you travel for 11 but stop with only one day remaining, how can you admire the moon over the capital? This metaphor encourages practitioners to persist in their efforts, recognizing that the fruits of their practice may not always be immediately apparent, but are inevitably realized through sincere and continuous effort. Polishing Gangyo and Dai Moku is a multifaceted process that involves deepening one's understanding, strengthening one's faith, improving one's focus and technique, and integrating the practice more fully into one's daily life. It's a journey that offers endless opportunities for growth and self discovery. As practitioners continue to polish their practice, they not only transform their own lives but also contribute to the positive transformation of their environment and society as a whole. This is the profound promise of Nichiren Buddhism, that through dedicated practice, each individual can reveal their highest potential and create a life of profound meaning, happiness, and contribution to the world. The process of polishing Gangyo and Dai Moku also involves developing a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things, a concept known in Buddhism as dependent origination. This understanding can profoundly impact how one approaches their practice. Nichiren wrote, if you light a lantern for another, it will also brighten your own way. This metaphor illustrates how our individual practice not only benefits ourselves but also illuminates the lives of those around us. As practitioners polish their gangyo and daimoku, they often find that their motivation for practice evolves. What might have begun as a desire for personal benefit often transforms into a more altruistic aspiration to contribute to the happiness of others and the peace of society. This shift aligns with the bodhisattva ideal in Mahayana Buddhism, which emphasizes compassion and the salvation of all beings. Daisaku Ikeda states, The purpose of our Buddhist practice is not just to improve our own lives, but to revitalize our families, communities, and societies. With this expanded perspective, each recitation of the sutra and each daimoku takes on deeper significance as an act of dedication to the well-being of all. Another crucial aspect of polishing one's practice is developing the ability to maintain a consistent spirit of practice regardless of external circumstances. Nichiren's life exemplified this principle. Despite facing numerous persecutions and hardships, he maintained unwavering faith and continued his practice and propagation of the Lotus Sutra. He wrote, Resolve to summon forth the great power of faith, and chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the prayer that your faith will be steadfast and correct until the last moment of your life. This steadfastness in faith and practice is not about being rigid or inflexible. Rather, it's about cultivating a deep inner strength that allows one to navigate life's ups and downs with equanimity and wisdom. As one polishes their gangyo and dai moku, they may find that this strength naturally develops, allowing them to face challenges with greater courage and to appreciate joys with deeper gratitude. The concept of human revolution, central to Nichiren Buddhism, is intimately connected with the practice of gangyo and dai moku. This idea posits that through dedicated Buddhist practice, individuals can transform their lives from within, overcoming negative tendencies and revealing their highest potential. Daisaku Ikeda explains, human revolution is not something extraordinary or divorced from our daily lives. It begins with an individual's inner determination and extends to the reform of society as a whole. As practitioners polish their gangyo and daimoku, they engage in this process of human revolution. Each recitation of the sutra, each dai moku, becomes an opportunity to renew one's determination to grow and contribute positively to the world. Over time, this consistent effort can lead to profound changes in one's character, relationships, and circumstances. It's worth noting that the effects of polishing one's practice may not always be immediately apparent or dramatic. Often, the changes are subtle and gradual. Nichiren addressed this, writing, Although the moon is a mere inch in diameter in a drawing, the actual moon in the sky is 1,600 miles in diameter. Which is the true form, the moon in the sky or the one in the drawing? This metaphor encourages practitioners to trust in the profound effects of their practice, 
even when the immediate results seem small or imperceptible. Another important aspect of polishing Gangyo and Daimoku is developing a deeper appreciation for the concept of Itai Doshin, or many in body, one in mind. This principle emphasizes the importance of unity among practitioners while respecting individual differences. As one polishes their individual practice, they also contribute to the collective practice of their Buddhist community. This synergy can greatly enhance the power and effectiveness of one's practice. The physical posture during Gangyo and Dai Moku is also an area where one can continually refine their practice. While there's no strict requirement for posture, many find that sitting with a straight back and relaxed shoulders helps maintain focus and allows for deeper breathing. Nichiren wrote, The body is the palace of the ninth consciousness, the unchanging reality that reigns over all of life's functions. This perspective invites practitioners to see their physical engagement in practice as an expression of their Buddha nature. As one continues to polish their practice, they may find that Gangyo and Dai Moku become more than just daily rituals, they become a way of life. The spirit of practice begins to infuse all aspects of daily living. Daisaku Ikeda describes this as living Gangyo, where one's entire life becomes an expression of faith and practice. This doesn't mean constantly chanting or reciting sutras, but rather maintaining the spirit of practice, the focus, the determination, the compassion, throughout one's daily activities. Polishing Gangyo and Dai Moku is a lifelong journey of spiritual growth and self discovery. It involves not just improving the technical aspects of recitation and chanting, but deepening one's faith, expanding one's understanding, and integrating the spirit of practice into all aspects of life. As Nichiren wrote, strengthen your faith day by day and month after month. Should you slacken in your resolve even a bit, devils will take advantage. This encouragement reminds us that polishing our practice is an ongoing process, one that requires consistent effort but offers profound rewards. Through dedicated practice, each individual has the potential to reveal their highest self and contribute to the creation of a more peaceful and harmonious world.